This next contest is for the Midwest Tag Team Title. Here we go to determine the new Midwest Tag Team Champion, Snake Pit making their way to the ring. They'll be taking on TJC tonight, a team they know very well, a team, frankly, they have quite a winning advantage over throughout the Midwest. As we determine new champions, our first champion, Wild Boys, great champions, but unfortunately, Ryan Wild has that severe jaw injury he suffered. Uh, and now he's uh, unable to compete for yet another a month, number of months yet. And we're going to determine new tag team champions here. Snake Pit, one of the absolute Ooh, best tag teams no. in the Midwest today. They currently hold the 3X Wrestling and Central Empire Wrestling Tag Team titles. Cornell, individually, a Pro Wrestling Phoenix heavyweight champion. And TJC, a wildly popular team. Total fan favorites. And full disclosure, a recent thorn in the side of my own yacht club. As is JC Slater, the powerhouse in front. TJ Benson is a real wild card, a, a very dangerous striker. He is an MMA practitioner. He adds the speed, the flashiness, the striking. JC Slater, the powerhouse. Amanda has picked me up over his own head and threw me over the top rope out of the ring. Powered by Surge. That disgusting swill Surge. Going against Snake Pit. These two teams, perhaps the two top teams of the Omaha area, but they're really making themselves known particularly Snake Pit throughout the Midwest, North Dakota, uh, the Des Moines area, uh, parts of Illinois, all points in between there. As this is a great meeting here in the central part of God's country, Marshalltown, Iowa, the city that God had left over. And this should be a great tag team bout. These teams know each other very well. Tactically, I don't know if there will be a surprise zone either way, so it's going to be up to mistakes and momentum and, frankly, ref positioning. So we get started here. As the referee with those Midwest Tag titles in hand, displaying them to the competitors. I appreciate he's keeping a tight grasp on him near Snake Pit. As we have a display of the belts here. Oh, now wait a minute, Snake Pit, he's got him. Oh, the ref couldn't hold on. Luke Cornell, a strong man, a strong athlete. And the weak referee could only do so much. Uh, Slater and Benson, they're fun-loving dudes, but they are incredibly focused here tonight. So they would love to hold a tag team title here in the Midwest. Ring the bell. The bell rings. Here we go, officially. By the time this match is over, we should have our second Midwest Tag Team Champions in this company's brief history. And I imagine the Wild Boys will be looking on intently Ryan Wilde's ready to go. They have a, a, an obvious stake at a title opportunity. As the powerhouse is going at it, Duke Cornell. An impressive veteran of the sport, at least a 12 year pro, if not 13. Seto Kafara, only a few years in, but has really impressed and really learned a lot under the uh, guidance. Of the leader of Snake Pit, Duke Cornell. 
has a nice hip toss. Oh, big headlock takeover there by J.C. Slater. And really, Cornell's not used to getting thrown around too much, but Slater's the guy who can do it. As he's got a tight lock of the hands, Cornell's found a way out. Oh, man, he jabbed his thumb into the neck of J.C. Slater to get out of that one. Well, what, oh, meaning of the power from Beast here. Power matches power. A couple of buffaloes locking horns can't knock each other down. And we have a headlock takeover again here. As Slater is wrenching in that headlock. Tight grip of the hands. Clean break. You know, in this J.C. Slater, generally a sportsman unless he's dealing with me, and then he's got the most evil of tactics. As you know, the captain, I'm never a cheater. I just do what I need to do within some framework of the rules to get it done. And you'll see my Yacht Club members here again in the future, and we're going to dominate right Tonight, I'm dominating the mic here, they're dominating elsewhere, and we're looking on intently. Oh, TJ Benson, nice waist lock takedown. As the amateur style he's on display, yeah, he is a very impressive mixed martial artist. And this nice display of wrestling skill. Kobara, outers to the ropes. He can't match up amateur tactics with TJ Benson. As we have Duck under there. Oh, Benson, schoolboy roll up. Ooh. Quickly into the front chancery. Into, he's got the waist lock applied. Ah, Kamara tried the block. It oh, nice, nice move there as he used his feet to hold the shoulders down. Beautiful take on the O'Connor roll up. Front chancery by Kobara now, and he's really, re oh, look at that. Really wrenching away at the arm, the neck, trying to find it. Uh oh. They're trying to open up Benson and in, in, in turn gave Benson an opening. Yes, nice cradle there. Wow. Beautiful move. Yes, if you're trying to match mat work with TJ Benson, you need to come up with a new approach. It's not going to happen here. If you're trying to create openings, it's a guy who literally trains them. Shutting down openings in a fighting pit. And the Slater coming in. Certainly has the power advantage over Kabara. But there's a reason the Snake Pit holds championships in multiple places. They are a crafty tag team duo. They know how to minimize a size advantage. As Kobara, I don't know if he's just feeling extra confident tonight. Thinking he's going to get the power bait. Oh, he's not winning this battle. I don't know if he's got a woman in the crowd he's trying to impress. I mean, in Marshalltown, I can't imagine he does. I mean, why the hell would he want to spend time with any woman in this town? My opinion, I'm sure some of you are, you know, you have your own opinions. Yes. Kabara tries to fight back, and just when it looked like he might be displaying some power, Slater shuts him down, big suplex. And the shoulder up for Kabara. As tag made, referee saw it just in time. Oh! Cornell, to his credit, attempted to distract the referee to not see that tag. Did not work. As this uh, referee, Jason the official, has been uh, really on the ball in a number of ways tonight. As we have, oh, Benson, nice move there. Now with the scissors lock, setting up a double team move here. Big stomp to the rib cage. By Slater. As 
as they have split Kobara. He's at least a good 12 feet, if not up to the full 18 of the ring, away from his tag team partner. And he's in a bad way right now, raining down the blows. Four, big right hand, flipped him, top seat, Kirby. He'll be walking on a straight line to Squiggly Town. And the house is on fire. And that house's name is J.C. Slater. Oh, now, wait a minute. Uh, now, this is, I know this all too well. Oh, tosses his partner on top of them on the outside. And the crowd solidly behind T.J. Now, Benson wisely gets Cornell back in the ring. As I believe he is the legal man, yes. Big forearm smash there. Knee to the midsection, those dangerous arms and legs of Benson. Those strikes are uh, practically unmatched here in Rugged Pro. Kick to the midsection. Kick to the midsection, another one. Slayer will get these flurry of combos here. Big right hand, left hand, right, left, right, left. Ooh! Uppercut with the right hand. Uh, Slater and Cornell have certainly had some wars in the Omaha area, both tag team and singles competition. The veteran members of both their respective teams, big splash into the corner. Cornell is really feeling Kobara charges in. The referee, oh my god, you almost need four refs for these tag team matches. He's losing all control. Oh, oh kick to the midsection. Kobara trying to get low. Slater avoided that. And Cornell got him with a big kick, and that's the cutoff for them to, oh, and they have the advantage now. And that, that's where they are devastating. When they get both get involved in the action, tie up the referee, get him confused, get him disoriented, and then they can disorient their opponent. And now, Slater, it's tough to use that power base when you were completely grounded. And Kabara snaps and breaks the fingers. Let's go, Slater! If he didn't completely break him, I'd be shocked. They're it doesn't even matter if they're totally broken. If they're flat, uh, uh oh. Oh, and they're going to break the wrist now. That hand is useless for J.C. Slater now. As the re oh, the referee. Forced in a bad spot there. Benson. I mean, the temperament of Benson. I mean, there's a reason why he's a, a very impressive MMA fighter. And, and the fact is, the temper gets the best of him. But you got to rein in that temper in these tag team matches, for sure. The crowd rallying behind J.C. Slayer, who may or may not have a broken or strained wrist. This is for you, Certainly numb fingers at the very least. That left hand and that left One, wrist may be two, entirely three, useless the rest of this bout. Is, you might have a cartilage break in the nose there now. So you know, the sleeper hold applied, smart on the part of Cornell. And keep in mind, he's got Slater facing his own partner, but Cornell can keep an eye on the hands, the legs of both Benson and Slater right now. And even with Slater kind of getting up to a vertical base, he's turning Slater away from his own partner. Smart tactic. Uh oh, oh. oh. Slater nails him with a number of strikes there. It's tough to fight back against these strikes, but ooh. Cornell with a smart double wing there. Had him underhook, big right hand by Kobara. Might have broke his own hand on that. Let's see how Well, certainly the crowd's not giving him any support on it. Oh, tossed aside by Slater. Oh, went for, uh-oh. Oh, big takedown there. Great move on the part of Kobara. Slater went for the boot. Kobara ducked it into a freestyle takedown. That's what, and that's why you're a champion. That's why he is a champion multiple places. Because he can change the strategy up on the fly as necessary. Uh, he might have 
Kaisei Kabara seems like a man of a smaller frame, and he certainly knows how to adjust his own body around the body of his opponents. And that is a still sketch. He really brings to the game better than many in the Midwest. His body adjustment and his Cornell tagged into the ring. Ooh, big shot to the rib cage there. You, enough of those shots to the rib cage. It goes from being a tight xylophone to being uh, loose guitar strings. And if the rib's not tight, the rib's not tight. Big back body drop. Benson with the tag. Oh, it's just like that. This is shifted. Benson with a drop to hold into a German suplex. Good grief. Oh, kicks out the leg to avoid the hammer strike. Benson now with a flurry of strikes back and forth. And his martial arts styling here. Uh oh. Oh! Cornell ducked. Didn't duck down. Oh! Leg DDT! DDT'd him down with the leg. Could be it! It's Kabara and Benson, the legal men here. As we have. Big forearm smash. Another big forearm Two, smash. Snap mare into a big kick there. Into a, oh, nails him. Oh, Kabara with the shoulder off. Toughness on display. As it was all up to Kabara to save his, his team there, as Cornell was not in a position to make the save. Job breaker, no, Benson with the shoulder up. Raining down the blows, Escobar. And now, once again, Benson finds himself a hell of a long way away from his partner. Ooh, big right hand there by Escobar. I want to think about going for the cover. Oh, brings him up to a vertical base. Oh, TJ Benson, look at these strikes. Oh, STO takedown. Could be a well, people's elbow by the MMA practitioner. It's Cornell. Oh. Cornell made a blind tag there. Benson didn't see it. Oh, there we go. Just cuts him off into, could be a power driver. No, power bomb, perhaps? Spinning. Oh, catches the Huracarana counter. Benson, uh, oh, oh, Gory bomb? Gory special? Cornell's got him in a submission hold. And he's gonna spin him around. Just by the neck into a neck breaker. What a move there out of the Corey special. And he kicks out. How did Benson get out of that one? I mean, he was pulling out the dry there. You're right. You should The thing he has one more hand to do it right. This is your terrible idea. Cornell was literally swinging around over his head like he had a snake in his hand. You haven't swung a snake around before, folks. Ooh, you haven't lived, brother. Well, the crowd has solidly chosen who they want to win this thing. It is TJC. But you got to respect the ability, the effort of Snake Pit, the striking ability to get the striking upper hand over a noted MMA athlete. Well, double arm bar. They can do this up to five, but that might be just enough to get it done. And, oh. Big headbutt there. Real big headbutt. Now he brings him up to his feet. Oh, Kubara with the right hand. Benson, to his credit, not planted on the mat. I th any other man, any other man in this arena tonight, I think would have landed flat on their back. <laughs> Benson showing some real toughness. DDT to the leg. 
The irony present as it was that same leg that DDT'd him down earlier. And now, look at this, a stretch muffler applied by Kubara. Smart move. Had some tough, had a little bit of trouble locking it in, as you know. Benson, more legs than upper body. Deceptively long legs. And now, look at this, a death lock applied here by Kubara into a figure four. And he is completely great find the legs there. Yes. Oh, and Benson gets to the ropes. <laughs> to his credit, he got there quickly, too. As at this point of the bout, these men have been wrestling for over 15 minutes. Any number of moves, any number of tactics, any number of time inside a submission hold could be devastating, could be career altering, could be match ending. As Cornell has now got him planted. And he's got a wide variety of moves he uses from, uh-oh. And he's gonna stand them up. Oh, is this, oh now that, that's more of a paint brushing slap. Catches the foot, Benson. Spins him around. Misses the line. Oh, super kick by Benson. And he gets the tag. And Slater comes in, the powerhouse. To the midsection. Oh, dive. Slater, been very effective with these splashes in the corner. Uh oh, he's got him piled up. Big double splash. Cornell's down. He's got Kabara up in a suplex position. He is holding it. The blood is rushing. The equilibrium is non existent. LA vertical suplex. Oh, shoulder up. Now, wait a minute. Just like, folks, you never know what. Controversy reigns here, I gotta say. As I thought he got the shoulder up, the ref counted three, called for the bell. And we've got new tag team champions. TJC has done it. Cornell's calling for a microphone. I swear I'll drop on his head. As now this is our only. Now wait a minute here. And the referee, apparently we're restarting the match. I'm trying to get some explanation for all of us as to the reason the referee is restarting this thing. Is he going to say he made the wrong call? Okay. <laughs> the referee has ruled. I mean, I appreciate his honesty. So I thought he counted three. You know, I thought Cornell had the shoulder up. Indeed, he did, according to the ref. He has decided, uh, in the sake of honesty, 
And we're starting over again as we've got, this is really breaking down. Oh, a dive! And the crowd back into this. And now Slater, I mean, uh, I mean, the controversy is already going to be there, but now the snake pit. Now, if they win this, I, I, they can't claim they're two time champs, but they might try to. It's the titles still vacant. Oh, big! And this is a flurry of offense. These two, they're throwing bombs now. Let's go bar. Uh oh, Cornell splashed in the corner. Bells! Black Hole slams him down. Slater tried to keep his feet planted, couldn't do it against the power of Cornell, the momentum. Uh oh, oh, big blockbuster there. And now Benson. Uh oh, he's got him up in a fireman's carry position. Destroyer out of that by TJ Benson. What a move. Kobara now. Is he going to try to destroy? Uh oh. Alabama slams Kobara onto his own partner. And now Slater with a. Oh, plants his own partner. Oh, Jesus. Right. And the shoulder up. The shoulder up. Now, this is, I mean, the referee has lost all control of, uh, frankly, I don't know if he has any control in his own personal life. Big double suplex there. We're now with the save. I mean, we got all four men. No, I mean, we're not down to two. This is this is wild. This is wild. This, oh my God! Lansom. The Eric Cannon style total anarchy there. Big right hand. Oh, Slater, uh-oh. They picked apart TJC, so they're, oh! Wow! His skull hit two knees. Oh my God, what a move there. Yeah. It's now a tag. Hey, there has been an official tag, but now they're both in the ring again. I thought from a discretionary standpoint, we were going with the Lucha style rules at this point. As Slater, and we got a tag on the other side. Benson, double, wow! Double blockbuster by TJ Benson. A shoulder up, two. Two. As he, that was a close one. That was a close one. <laughs> Irish whip. And those splashes have been phenomenal for Slater tonight. Irish whip, Cozy Doll, one of their big tag team maneuver. Oh, drives the knees down. I like it. Kubara is incapacitated. They drag Cornell out. Into a. What do they got here? Oh! Flying forearm style of the heart attack. Kubara with the save. Nice double team move there. Kabara showing his toughness getting there in time. 
Oh, drives him down on the top rope. It's up to slay it now. Is Benson getting back in there? This is a wild one. Wild and woolly action here. Ooh, drives him hard down. Oh, oh, low bridge there by Benson. Pulls him over. Down the two in the ring, two on the outside. Benson kicked his face off. In the ring, Cornell's got him in a, uh-oh, reversal there. Slayer's got him up in that pump handle position. Pump handle slam, Benson. Big flying headbutt about 14 feet across. And now we have tag team champions. It was controversial the first time through and now it is solidified. TJC, our new Rocket Pro Tag Team Champions. That was, that was crazy. Crazy match, all sorts of wild stuff going on there. But we got our new Tag Team Champions. I'm sure Jimmy Wild and his brother Ryan Wild, the Wild Boys, are watching on intently here. Big win for TJC as they pick up a major Tag Team Champion.